going on YouTube it's your boy E money coming to you on this Friday I hope everybody had like we call here in the islands a happy Aloha Friday and everybody's gonna get ready to it's a big cop weekend for Jordan brand you guys got to get those notification on the sneaker app right you got the Chinese New Year 12 some people say it look like the playoffs with a hit of gold or whatever that is that color that looks look similar to gold you also got the um, take flight 12 so it's up to you do what you gotta do decisions decisions and then of course I think the next following week everybody has those most highly anticipated shoe the royalty for so you guys put on the comment suggestions below let me know what you gonna cop what you think about it um, in my opinion now judging by the latest information that I just um, heard I think the eights might be sitting which is a good thing because I prefer, prefer to have the eights more than the twelve but we'll see things are evolving all the ways with me so we'll see what happens without that further ado let's get into this review and I did another double down your boy double down all right let's see what we got some more rebox question mid dress code i don't think anybody did any reviews i didn't see anybody cop these i don't know if people slept on these just didn't give a shit but i don't know both of them are size 10 official colorway is blue i don't know what the hell is that i don't know if that's saint coco or whatever crap brown wheat gum suggested retail price hundred and nine dollars but like I said the Navy Exchange right now you can get on base they're about 80 bucks a piece so I had to get them I had to get them it's my boy Iverson like I said growing up Iverson was the guy to follow special for us people who are vertically challenged they say he's six foot tall but I would beg to differ so without that let's get some further to this review no stamps inside. Got the rewatch paper. Look at this shoe. This shoe, in my opinion, some people say it got too much going on, but I like it. This is a real attention getter, if you ask me. Look at the bottom of it. The outsole. Got that gum bottom. Got that hexalite look there. On the side, you also got this etching, none marking outsole. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very, very dope. Got some good suede here on the toe box, as you can see. Look, when you rub your, I don't know if you can see that, but when you rub your hand on it, it changes color. Very good suede. Got on uh, like these shoes back in the day. Got like that corduroy type look on the shoelaces. Got the mesh on the tongue. Coming up on the side, you got like this mesh or neoprene. This blue jean here on the side with your white. Uh, Reebok sign with some red hits going across that side there Coming around the back you got more of your blue jean and I believe it or not. It's this is leather material right this brownish part Then you got like a regular cloth material with the question, you know, that was Iverson symbol And in the back you got this little No sign or a disregard sign. I think the meaning behind this shoe, they asked uh, Iverson to make it because you know he was always trying to buck the system, right? Talking about the dress code. So I guess this shoe is a tribute to him and his dress code because he did get a couple of dress code violations throughout his career not being in compliance, right? But look at the tongue. The tongue, you got some more of that like leather type material. Very, very dope in my opinion. Inside, nothing special. You just got regular Reebok. Come around on the media side, you got the see you got the hexalite tag. Some similar to all these different new air units. Um, back then Reebok was trying something new. Of course, you know they had the pump was real famous with D Brown and all that stuff. So they've been around a while and been very trendy for us, those soft cushions. But on the media side, let's get back to the review. Got some more of the hexalite. We got like that same color gum on the bottom, but you got those hits on the side. You got them some more of that blue jean. Like I said, it's a very, I don't know if it's neoprene or waterproof, but very, very nice material. On the eyelets, you got Reebok coming down the side. On the other side, you just had the Reebok symbols. 
I mean, just take a look on over the shoe. Very, very dope shoe, in my opinion. Very nice. I'm happy with this pickup. Let me check out the other shoe. I don't see any issues or glue stains. You know, some of these shoes, you get the glue stains. Look like the stitching on these is A1. So a very, very dope shoe in my opinion. You guys let me know underneath your comment suggestions below. Let me know what you think. And as always, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. I can keep coming to you with that content. Everyone have a great weekend. Thanks for the support and deuces.